When I did my very first collection in my local area of Sandgate, we collected 450 packets of pads and tampons. We thought it was amazing. We were high-fiving ourselves. Unfortunately, it's not like we're giving a woman a warm jacket and it keeps her warm for years. This is a monthly problem. And the problem is so much greater than I ever imagined. More than 173,000 women turned to homelessness services last year. Could you imagine not having somewhere safe to call home? Not having food in your belly, but not having a pad or a tampon and what that does to you. So I wanted to say, this doesn't happen without you, without our sheroes and heroes being their local heroes is how we share the dignity. So since we've started, we've now collected over 1.7 million packets and pads and tampons to distribute to the three and a half thousand charities that we work with around Australia. How do we do it? We need you to be your local hero. We do three collections a year. In April and in August, our collection boxes go out in shopping centres, in offices all over Australia. But we need you to help us to man those and to collect those donations and to get them out to the charities that we work with so that they can help the women in need. And in November, we do our very popular Christmas appeal called It's in the Bag. That's where women all over Australia give a pre-loved handbag, fill it with life's necessities, and then we get them out to every woman experiencing homelessness, fleeing domestic violence, those that are poverty stricken, our drought stricken farming communities. But let me tell you that every single one of those bags are checked by us. They are checked to ensure that what we say we're doing, we're doing. And we're trying to make somebody feel valued and loved. So it is a big job, but it takes many people to do it. And we know that when you jump on our dignity train, that we need you and that your time is very valued to us and we try to make it as easy as possible. So as you head through on the Dignity Train, please know that you will come into Workplace and we will guide you. If you have any questions, your team leader is there to make sure that every question is answered and that we try to work together to make a difference to women in Australia. Together, I believe that we can end period poverty through the work that we do. Whilst we only do the three collections a year, we also run three major events a year. Our high tea, which takes place on what's known as World Menstrual Hygiene Day. Of course there is, right? That happens on Sunday, May 26th. What we would like to see is you use your voice to help us to make sure that we can get as many people there so they can hear the stories of the women that we've helped, the charities that we work with, and the people that it makes a real difference to. It is a fabulous afternoon. We also run our Yoga for Dignity on the 31st of August and our Run for Dignity in October. If you don't want to participate in those, that's fine. All we're asking you to do is to use your voice in your local community so that everybody knows that they can help make a difference in Australia. So thank you so much for helping us to share the dignity. We can't wait to have you join us on our Dignity Train.